This one could get messy. No, I'm not talking about Lionel. I'm talking about the 216 comments that we have on this poll. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And the other day, I put up a poll asking, with Rangers being favourites to win the most lucrative Scottish title ever, can the blue side of Glasgow have a dominant period in the SPFL, i.e., winning multiple league titles in a row and winning the majority of cups on offer as well. Now, the reason I said this is because there was some like financial advisor from, I think it was Gib Football Sport or something like that, and he was claiming that Rangers will be the richest team in Scotland if they win the league this year, and obviously that means they go into the Champions League. Now, I'm going to have to assume that for that to happen, not only would Rangers need to win the league, but Celtic then would need to not qualify because if Celtic finish second but still qualify for the Champions League, that would surely cancel out the £60 million or whatever it is that Rangers would be earning. So, uh, I mean, I get the logic and reasoning behind it, but I think that means for Rangers to overtake Celtic financially, Rangers need to win the league this season and then they need Celtic not to qualify for the Champions League. But either way, look, if it happens, Rangers now, you know, they've got a decent team, they've got a good manager, probably the first real good manager they've had outside of Gerrard since coming back up to the top flight. So if Rangers were ever going to go on a period of uh, domination, I think this would be a good time to do it. They've got a good setup, a good starting block. I think people actually assumed it was going to happen with Gerard. I think when Gerard won title 55, Celtic looked a mess and a lot of people thought that Rangers pretty much had the title guaranteed for the next couple of years. Even Celtic fans thought that, but, you know, Ange Postacoglu came in 12 months later, Celtic were winning league titles again. So, yeah, you never really know. But I think right now, this is the best opportunity Rangers have probably had in a while to try and get a stranglehold on the uh, the Scottish Premiership and the Scottish trophies in general. We've seen Celtic dominate for a long, long time now. Uh, it looks like that domination is coming to an end. Is it time for Rangers' domination to start? Well, 65% of you people believe yes. Out of 1,500 votes, 65% believe that yes, Rangers are going to dominate now for the next few seasons at least. But 35% say no, Celtic will be back on top soon. So that means either Celtic will still win the league this season or even if they do not win the league, Rangers won't be going on to like dominate because Celtic will be back next season. So 65-35, that is what you guys believe. I think that Rangers have a chance. Obviously, I think they're favourites to win the league this season. If they win the league this season and keep Clement, I would argue they're favourites to win the league next year again. But in, in terms of um, dominating, I don't know. It's been a while since Rangers dominated football. Have Rangers really dominated since the, the turn of the millennium? Probably not. Because up until Rangers went down to League 2 from 2000, I mean, it, it was pretty even. I think the most titles won in a row was three. Um, even like cups and stuff, they've been shared relatively even up until Rangers went down to League 2. And then ever since then, it's just been complete Celtic domination so yeah is it Rangers' turn maybe I would probably go somewhere in the middle I do think Rangers will win the league this year I think they're probably favorites to win the league next year but the cup record isn't great yes they've got the league cup in the bag this season but even in the COVID season when they were dominant and they were unbeaten you know they didn't even come close to winning one of the other cups so I, d I can't really sit here and say Rangers are going to go on this mad dominating period where they, <laughs> they win everything in sight, but I do think they've definitely got the potential to be better than Celtic for the foreseeable future. But let's see what you guys think anyway. Like I said, 216 comments. If there's a load of shite about your club's deed or, or kiddie fiddling, then I'm probably just going to um, skip a lot of them. So, yeah, here we go. Let's get into it. To, I ain't reading it 216 if they're all shite. So there you go. You've been warned. Steph, no more. We might be getting excited, but the tags are fucking shit in it. We are the people. Uh, I, I think that's a fair comment. Uh, I think the Rangers fans are getting excited, but I also think the Celtic fans are probably fearing the Rangers a little bit. I know you get majority comment and saying that they don't fear it, but I think Rangers are building something half decent with Clement. I'm not saying Rangers are great, but Celtic aren't exactly in a good place either. So, it, you know, it is what it is. David says uh, Celtic are top just now. 
the Rangers have not been able to beat Celtic this season. If not for far helping them game after game, it would have been done and dusted by now. But I mind when old Rangers went bust and Walter Smith was in charge, the refs bent over backwards to help them win the league to keep them alive. That's what it's like now. So history repeats itself. Rangers, MK3 incoming. So uh, David thinks that Rangers are going to be, what, reincarnated or something? <laughs> Who knows? Francis Shealy thinks the thought of Rangers dominating is uh, pretty funny. We are the people... 1690 says you should have added an option of should Celtic have won every trophy while their biggest rivals weren't in the league and kept winning them all. If the answer is no, then for any supporter of the second biggest club in Scotland, east of Ireland, including those great parts like Portkeed, Coat Dyke, Craig Nuke, then that wouldn't be acceptable at all. An abomination, if you will. A catastrophe. Yeah, man, just wanted six cans and it's anti Brendan back. Rangers made their way back up through the league. Celtic couldn't even win a one-horse league, Scottish Cup or League Cup every season they were away. When the crunch came to the crunch, we cemetery thief Lennon shot the bed and there lays Terry Monroe. Right. So, let me see this again. Right. Rangers made their way back up through the league and Celtic couldn't even win a one-horse league, Scottish Cup or League Cup every season they were away. Well, okay, Celtic weren't winning trebles when Rangers were away, but they won a fucking shitload when Rangers came back, so I don't quite understand where you're going there. Um, almost trying to take away Celtic's title. Oh, look, first of all, it doesn't matter. Rangers, if Rangers were in League 2, League 1, Championship, even if Rangers died, does that mean that, Rain, does that, mean that Celtic can't win any more trophies because th their biggest rivals aren't there to compete for them? I mean, that's bullshit logic. Uh, just because Rangers weren't in the league. I mean, it, it, you can argue it certainly makes Celtic's trophies easier to win, but they're still trophies nonetheless, so I'm, I'm not going to... No, I'm not agreeing with that. Uh, Francis Healy, Celtic won the treble last season. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, Celtic won the treble four years in a row when Rangers got back into top flight, so well, it doesn't say much for Rangers there. Santoy, Rangers dominating Celtic with that team... Give your heads a rest for fuck's sake. You're only kidding yourselves. Alan Kerr, no one likes us. We don't care. Timmy, we've only won a League Cup. They've only won a League Cup. This is what keeps me going. The wee deed Tim Pot fan base get overexcited. It's delicious when we burst their bubble each time. Ian Wilson, shame about the boys. They abused. All right, fair enough, whatever. Uh, you only care about Mickey Mouse football. I mean, if you don't care about fucking Scottish football, then fuck off, man. Seriously, that's Mickey Mouse football. You know, go, go support your glory hunting English bastard teams down south. Uh, Gerald Ray says Celtic basically got nine free titles. They don't count unless it's competitive. I take them off them. The Celtic squad has come backwards. <laughs> if Rogers was allowed to be honest, he'd say the squad is total rubbish. All right, you're saying that Celtic got nine free titles. Um, here's the deal. That's not how football works, okay? When Rangers won their nine in a row in the 90s, we could argue that Celtic were going through some serious shit. Celtic were struggling. Celtic weren't even the second best team in the league or the country or whatever. You know, Celtic were a shell of them former of, of their former shell. <laughs> can't even say it. Celtic were a shell of their former selves in the majority of the 90s. So, does that mean that Rangers' 90s titles shouldn't count? Uh, of course not. You know, that's not how it works, all right? Just because Rangers weren't in the league doesn't mean Celtic's titles don't work. Um, yeah, we, we, we can't be saying that. Gary Harkness says, uh, come on, the Jers, the treble, 20, 250 watts. I don't understand the Huns' confidence. It's crazy. Five of their last seven games in the league are away from home, and they potentially have a way to the Celtic Hibernian Hearts after the split. If they finish ahead of Celtic after that run of fixtures, good luck to them. They deserve to win the league. Very fair comment. You know, I agree with that. Rangers definitely do have the harder running, so that will be interesting. But I just think that Rangers are playing the better football right now, and I think if anyone's going to slip up, it will be Celtic. But Rangers can slip up as well. We've seen that against Mullerwell. So, I mean, both teams aren't great. Let's be honest. Both teams aren't fantastic. I mean, Rangers have been getting wins, but there's been a lot of games where they've won and they, they haven't been convincing. So, we'll see. But it's not like both old firms are dominating, you know. And it could be a case of someone just crawls over the line. Uh, quadruple treble said it's all about the Celtic. Hail, hail, hail. RJC. Rangers of shaky finances. One Champions League campaign won't fix that, so if Celtic go mad and break the bank, Rangers won't be able to compete without risking Rangers MK3. Is that true, though? I don't think so. Blair Meikle says, break the bank, you mean paying off their court cases? James McArthur, finance hasn't exactly worked in the Peters' favour this season, has it? 
big fella's got Rogers on the run. He's realised he's not dealing with Morty. That's why he's panicking. <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, that's another thing. We could argue that Brendan Rogers in his first, first, uh, no, his first Celtic stint, you know, he wasn't up against a good Rangers side, so... He wasn't, though. When you think about it, you know, he he'd, uh, he had Derek McKenzie's Aberdeen to contest with. Fraser Lapsley, we are the people, say, the Celtic fans are thick as shit. Their club hasn't progressed at all for the last 12 years. They're just happy that they're beaten in their own words, a 12-year-old club. Very ambitious, that is. Outside of Scotland, they have two good teams in 12 years. Let that sink in. If I was a Celtic fan, I'd be embarrassed that my club lacks the passion. You need to take them to the next step. I'm a bit confused by that. So, what, Celtic lack passion to get to the next step, but Rangers don't? Does that mean Rangers are going to get to the next step now? Yeah, I don't really understand that comment. Gary White, 8880, oh, Celtic will win the league and the meltdown will be comical. We'll see. Normally, to be honest, though, as a neutral, it, it does tend to be Celtic fans that take the uh, the meltdowns. I don't really recall Rangers. I think Rangers fans are just used to losing to Celtic. You know, they're, they're used to being second best, so therefore... Um, they, they probably, you know, can handle disappointment more. As for Celtic fans, we've seen when Rangers won title 55, uh, they weren't fucking happy. This season, we've seen them not be very happy. Uh, Chop 2016, obviously Celtic will bounce back. It happened when Rangers stopped 10 in a row. The Glasgow Derby is crap now anyway. From being the best in the world to two of the most boring no away fans to make it worse... Hearts, Hibs have cut away fans but can't sell it. Home section football, Scottish football will fall apart. The matches on TV less fuels. The championship is more alive than the SPFL. Fair enough. Quadruple treble. Sevco win three trophies and they think they're the best in the world. It's mad but I understand the excitement does not happy much. I understand the excitement does not happy much. That makes no sense. Um, I don't think it's that Rangers fans think they're the best in the world but I think you can certainly make a case that they're the best team in Scotland right now and I would struggle for anyone to disprove that. You know, I just don't think you can. I think Rangers are the best team right now in Scotland. Therefore, if anyone's going to dominate, it's the likelihood is it's going to be them. Simple as. Uh, John Neal, after winning the League Cup this season, suddenly the people think they have become a force again in Scottish football. Their club has won three major trophies from 37 since being re-established in 2012 and have also been running at a loss of millions each year. Gullible and deluded springs to mind. One club will dominate in the future. It won't be the Rangers. They won't need EBTs to do it either. Hail, hail. So John Neal there thinks Celtic's going to be leading the way. Mercury. Rangers died in 2012. Get your facts correct. No, Celtic will not win the league. Despite all the help they get from the officials, Celtic will win the league as per usual. Now, there you go. Didn't take long to get to your first uh, deed comment. John, technically Celtic are top. Yeah, I mean, technically Celtic are top, but we know Rangers have a game. Let's be honest, you would rather be, if you were a Celtic fan, you would swap the position you're in right now to be in Rangers' position. To be, what, one point behind the game in hand, you would take that. So, yes, Celtic may be top, but we know that the likelihood is Rangers are top. I'm not saying that it's guaranteed to beat Dundee, but the likelihood is Rangers will beat Dundee and go top of the table. So, yeah. There is that. Uh, 1888 CFC. Who exactly said RFIC are favourites to win the title? I'm more cons- Well, if you check out every single bookmakers, they've all got Rangers favourites to win the title. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> bookmakers think matter more than fans. Obviously, Celtic fans are going to say they're favourites, but I, I think even an honest Celtic fan would probably say that Rangers are favourites right now, but it is what it is. Um... What's next? I'm more concerned about the city of Glasgow if the Huns do win it. Maybe it'll be a, a 2 million quid in damages instead of that 1 million this time. Uh, Yoga Flame, the old firm at Ibrox will decide the league, I think. If we win it, Celtic will crumble, being 5 points behind, most likely. Drop points again before the park head old firm. James Fulton, Glasgow Rangers are on the up. And most of Scotland can't stand that. They all laughed when Rangers got demoted, thinking now is our chance, but by the looks of things, teams like Aberdeen, Hibs, Hearts, Dundee United have all got worse. They had their chance then, and they just seem to have gave up the ghost. Right enough, they can't even fill their own stadiums unless Rangers or Celtic are in town. 26 comments. I don't know if we're going to look at them all. Probably not. Bobby says you didn't get demoted, you were liquidated. Get it right. Not demoted, liquidated. So, uh, there you go. RSC should be ashamed of themselves for causing all this ticket allocation crap. I mean, to be honest, it was Rangers that started that ticket allocation thing. I, if I remember correctly, I think it was Rangers. Or was it? I don't even know, but I'm pretty sure that with Rangers now having 10,000 seats less in their stadium than Celtic, that kind of has caused the uproar because Rangers now have more season tickets. And I believe that Celtic can go back to the 
seven and a half thousand allocation that they gave Rangers, but Rangers wouldn't be able to return the favour because Rangers don't have enough free seats now available for away fans because they pretty much just added them to the the, the season ticket sales. So uh, I think it's probably Rangers' fault for that whole um, fan allocation thing being cut. Uh, Martin Sweeney, I think it will always be e. E E E B B and flow between the two. I don't think any of them will dominate for longer than a couple of years. I think Rangers would probably settle for a couple of years, to be honest, if they got that. Uh, Stephen Dorman is the hope that kills them every year, but when Celtic trump this year, the tears will be sweeter than ever. I don't really think they can take losing this one. Ian Smith, Beaton and Co. and Farr will decide who wins the league, and you know their fave huns. Uh, the Bruins, Celtic, keep your money, you're going to need, and a lot of more. There's a chicken in or something in there. Uh, Jerry T, the Huns have won it once in the last 12 years and they're getting all excited, 77 comments, right, we'll, we'll see if there's anything interesting here, but I'm not going through them all, I swear to fuck, I'm not doing it, um, Blue Bells Blue, well you lot would know about winning anything for years, I do recall when O'Neill came in for use and you started winning again, all your, pan all your panties were wet day in day out, it's time to take a back seat though, we'll take it from here, just remember your latest nine in a row, taint it in history. Uh, is it really though? Uh, I mean, so what? No team can win nine in a row unless the other old firm is in the league with them. I I'm just not accepting that, man. I don't. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's fair. So whatever. There's someone from Botswana. Fuck me, Botswana comment here. Uh, haters will hate. Oh, hate speech. I'm reporting that. Septic have won zero competitions in twelve years. What have you won? League was automatic. How you got on in Europe against proper teams? Yeah, Celtic didn't really do that well in Europe, did they? Uh, we're not reading all these comments. I mean, like, it's all just hun shite, Sevco. Oh, now we've got loyalists and bloody non-Irish unionists. I mean, what the fuck is this shite? Uh, Clash Man Numpty says, Steely's a little teapot, short and stout. Bob Smudger. The sick sheep's sick sheep sick. What the fuck is this? Um, LS six seven hail hail inaccurate. Celtic are currently on top, literally. Yes, they are on top, but again, I mean, they've got one game played more. So, who's favourites? It doesn't matter, right? Celtic are on top, but Rangers are favourites. So, come on, it is what it is. I mean, we we all know that Rangers will likely win that game and go top. So, it is what it is, and. Terry Monroe is talking about more pedo shite and predator shite, so we're just going to ignore that, guys. I mean, it was uh, funny once upon a time, but I don't need to read 200 comments about your club's deed or pedo this or kids got touched. I mean, it gets old after a while. It gets fucking very old. Anyway, that's it. That's the poll. 65% uh, of people believe Rangers will win the dominate. I can see it happening, at least for maybe a season or two. I, I can see Rangers winning the next couple of league titles for sure. I don't think Brendan Rodgers will be there to see that, though. I think if Brendan Rodgers loses this title, he will probably go. I think if he stays and loses two titles in a row, then he will definitely be gone. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting end to the season. Uh, I normally like international football, but I kind of want to see the club stuff get back because we've got lots of stuff going on right now. We've got the battle for the league title. We've got the battle for the top six. We've got the battle for the relegation playoffs. Um, so, yeah. I want to see Scottish football return to the club roots. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, guys, that's it. Been Fog Football. We'll catch you in the next one. And until then, peace.